Hey everybody, this is Scott. What I thought we'd do today is walk through uh, configuration for voice attack and then some advanced configuration uh, to kind of show you, I think, where the profiles available online could really be improved dramatically to make this a much more interesting experience. Uh, so what we're looking at here is just the voice attack base profile. So um, I have two. I have the poisonberry one, which is my standard use one, and then I have another one called static. So if you buy the, the Astro Voice Pack, which I highly recommend. I really like it. There's a lot of fun things in there that you could probably do some amazing work with, but um, I like a lot of the variety that's in, this, in the pack, and that's really what we're going to exploit, is the five ways that she says jumping to um, Super Cruise or what have you. So uh, it does, however, come with a bunch of other things, like these all these constellation examples, which I talked about the other day in my previous video, but it also comes with all these educational things about, uh, you name it, it's in there, from uh, Jansky's to Kepler's Laws to what is cotton, and all this. So it's interesting and whatever, and I thought it was a lot, a lot of work went into all this. So rather than just blow it away and not use it, I moved all those commands to one called static. And uh, then inside of my standard profile here, if we go up and we look at the options, this checkbox up here, you can say to include commands from another profile, and I just included the ones in the static one. So the static one isn't going to change. It's always going to be the same. I'm not going to go in and fiddle with it. Uh, where this profile is the one that's really got all my work. So let's kind of talk about how to set these up on a very basic level. So I just changed this one, which is why it's highlighted. I'll talk about what I changed. Uh, so this is the one to balance the power to the systems. So what it does is you, you basically set up all, all the commands at the top are semicolon separated for the things that you might say. And I had forgot to put in power to systems or power to shields. I had all these other things, maximum power to shields, divert power to systems, maximum shields, but I kept saying power to systems, power to shields, and nothing was happening. I was wondering why. Well, it's because I didn't include these two statements. So I've added those in here now, and they're good to go. So the next time I say that, it should work. Now, down here we see really the the crux of what we're going on. We're going to press the left key and hold. And I put this brief pause in there because I think that it gives a chance to register and there's no chance of it skipping. So we're just going to push the left key three times, which will transfer all the power to the systems, actually four times. And then we say this phrase at the end. And if we double click on it, we can bring it up and then preview it. Power to shields. Okay, and that's just... It's just great. And every time you do this, she's going to say that every single time. And that's kind of my problem with this is that I don't want her to say it every time. Plus, there's a lot of other neat things that she can say. So if we look at power management, diverting power to shields. Well, that one's kind of fun too. Um, she's got uh, all shields. And there's other things too, like aft shields. I'm not really sure where they're going with that, but um, maybe there's some capability coming later in the game where they're just making sure they get all the covers. Shields, shields. So there's all these neat things that could be said. But we're only saying one, and we don't want to say them all because that's going to drive us a little bit wacky. Uh, I'm going to leave this one the way it is, though, because I'm, I'm fine with this. But uh, I do want to show you why or how we can exploit having all of those duplicates. Um, so some of the ones that I use more often than I want to work with uh, would be disengaging Super Cruise. So we disengage Super Cruise, we push the K key, and we say... Disengaging Cruise. Okay, that's just great. I want to say something different in here. So uh, we're going to use a little bit uh, of an advanced command. Now, first of all, we're going to issue the commands. We're actually going to push the K key first. We're not going to wait for her to talk, talking, stop talking and then do something. We're actually going to push the K key first. So then we're going to go into other. And instead of playing a sound, we're going to go to set a conditional value. And I'm just going to call it X because I'm lazy. And we're going to pick a random value, which is where this gets really interesting, between one and between zero and two. And then we're going to include the, be the beginning of a conditional block where X is equal to zero. And we're going to play this sound. And then we're going to come out of the other side. And we're going to end the conditional block. Okay? So you see what I've done here so far is I just have it if x equals 0, it will play the sound. Now, this isn't exactly true because if there, if this is equal to any other value, it's still going to do the last condition. 
so this isn't exactly a hard zero. It's anything if it's the last one. So I'm going to add in a couple more. I'm going to set uh, get a beginning conditional block where x is equal to 1. Um, but in this case, I'm going to play another sound because she's got a lot of neat things that she says. So let's go add one. So there's, we have disengaging super cruise. So um, uh, what else we want? Where is a good disengage one in here? Super groove, hello, super cruise drive disengaging. I think she could, she says it better than I do because I'm tripping all over myself today. All right, and so we're going to end that conditional block now. Okay, now let's add another one. So begin a conditional block where x is equal to two. And I have another command, and I'll, I'll I'm just going to put it in here now because we're we're doing this. Uh, we're going to where is it? Execute another command, and I use the word understood. It's down here. It's just like this. And basically, this command has a bunch of randoms tied to it, and I'll show you that in a moment. So I'm just going to throw that in here, and we're going to throw the end conditional block. So we have 0 to 2, so it gives us three possible conditions. So in 0, we're going to play this sound. Disengaging cruise. If it's a 1, we're going to play... Super cruise drive disengaging. Super cruise drive. And then in this one, we're going to do this one, and not, we'll talk about that one in a second. So we now have this set. So anytime I say the word disengage... Exit jump, disengage jump, OK disengage, or anything else that you want to say. Put a semicolon. If you tend to say it too fast and uh, it turns out being other words, add those other words. Add that misspoken content to the top and it'll still work. In fact, the Astra profile this comes with, he has a pretty thick accent. Well, I have a pretty thick accent. He has an accent. So there's a lot of really bizarre things in here. Um, in fact, here's one right here. I'm, I'm looking at, so I'm going to hit OK by this um, and save it. But here's one exactly uh, I'm talking about. So docking request, he's got set the puck request these, send a kid request. <laughs> so you see, you can put your common misspellings or your common mis misspeakings in here and it'll still work. So just keep in mind, if you tend to say the wrong thing and use that little dialog box that's always up, I keep it on my other monitor so that I can see what it thinks I said uh, so if I'm consistent, then I can make sure to add those. All right, so let's go down and look at understood. So this is one that I like quite a bit. So from zero, 0 to 6, we've got seven options. So you see with 0, I don't do anything. If it's a 0, it does nothing. This is that pause I was talking about, or that pause, that, that lack of a response that I like. Sometimes I don't want her to say something every time. Sometimes I just want her to do it and not say anything. So we have her saying, okay... Okay. And I'm not going to run through all these, but um, you get the idea. Yes, Captain. There's affirmative, acknowledged, initiating, and as you wish. So these are all very generic positive statements that she would say as a positive response to something that I asked for. So rather than include these in each one of these, I can just say I want to issue the command understood, and then it'll pick a, a random value between 1 and 6 and play one of these. So it's a real nice way to add a lot of variety to what she's saying without having to do a ton of work. Uh, so say balance power to systems. This is one we, we started with here, where she's going to, um, sorry. Power to shields. OK, that's good. So let's add another one. And uh, where is that? pack. And you see there's just so much this comes with. This is a really great, really great pack. This is the Astra pack. And I'll put the link in the in the description. Um, so power to shields. So let's look for another one. Divert power to shields. This one's different. Divert power to shields. Okay, so I like that one. Okay. And another one. Go in here find something else. I think there was one near the bottom, wasn't there? Shields. Shields. Well, that's kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, we could use it. Is there a better one? Um, power to shields. We're going to use that one. Equalizing shields, dividing power to systems. Okay, so this diverting power to systems. Diverting power to requested systems. So a nice generic one that we could use. 
Uh, here's divert power to systems. We don't use that one yet. We use divert power to shields, and power to shields is used divert power to systems. Okay. Now, obviously, we have to do something with these. So I'm going to go to the command right before my first sound. I'm going to set a conditional value of x. And we have th three options, so we need a 2. And then we're going to go to our first one. Again, begin a conditional block. x is a 0. Play this. And I just click on it and click other, and then end conditional block. Next one, other. Set a conditional, begin a conditional block. x is 1. Now, there might be more efficient ways to do this, but I looked at the XML file that this generates, and it uses a lot of global Id global identifiers. So they're not things that you can just fabricate. They got to they've got to come from somewhere. So this is pretty much the only way to do it, um, as far as I could see. Playing it with or playing with the text editor, trying to do it the old-fashioned way, just yielded a, a horrible result. Okay, so we have we have these now. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to increase this. Oops, that was a mistake, by the way. Glad I noticed that from 0 to 2. It would have picked the same one every time. We're going to go from a random value, not a set value, a random value from 0 to 3. And actually, let's do 0 to 4. So from 0 to 4, so we're going to add our next one, other. We're going to begin a conditional block where x is equal to 3. And in this block, I'm going to use the uh, understood command. So she just says, yes, sir. So we're going to see, execute another command. All the way down to understood, and then end that command. And I'm going to add one more. And this one is beginning conditional block, where x is equal to 4. Right, 4, yes. And we're not going to do anything. So we have a 25% chance, actually 20% chance, of her saying nothing at this level. So this is much greater than if it um, if it only is a 3 and it comes to understood, then there's only a 1 in 6 chance of it becoming a blank. Well, that's not enough for me. I really want, uh, I really don't want her to talk as often. So in this case, there's a slight chance, a 1 in 6 chance, if it turns out to be this number 3 that she might not say anything, but a 20% chance out of these five options here that she says nothing. So I like that. So I'm just going to leave it that way. And that should do it. You got to hit done, and let's try it. Power to systems. Divert power to systems. Done. Power to systems. Power to shields. Power to systems. Power to systems. Divert power to shields. Power to systems. Divert power to shields. Power to systems. Affirmative. Okay, so we see that works really well, but this came up, power systems, so let's add it, just, it didn't cost me anything, right? Power systems. Done. So, I hope that explains how I configured this thing, and I, and what I did is, I went through and I put a little asterisk at the end of the name, in the description, I should say, and I've, I've got them broken down into some categories, uh, just so I can kind of keep track of things. But if I put an asterisk at the end, it means I kind of like how that one is done. It's finished because there's a lot of them to do, and I don't want to sit and spend hours doing this. I just kind of, when I'm on a long trek to something that's a, you know 100,000 light years out, uh, or light seconds out, this is something I can have up in the other window. It does act a bit sluggish interface-wise when you have um, Elite on another window, and I'm not really sure. I think it's because this is using... Um, arrow pretty substantially and that just makes it act a little chuggy. But I do is I put these asterisks after it so I know, okay, map, this one is good to go. And I have all these things. Now this is an old one where I have I actually have her saying yes commander here. Uh, and I have a new more efficient way of doing that. So I'm going to say I'm going to execute another command and we're going to use the understood. So you can create a bunch of these base commands and there is a suffix and prefix system with this where you can have it say thrusters 25% or thrusters 50%. The word thrusters would do something and then the value is also available. So there's a whole suffix prefix capability inside of 
voice attack, and I'm not using that. I'm I'm a little more brutal, uh, uh, say sim a uh, simplistically brutal approach here. Now in this case, uh, you see I did one other thing I had where the value is greater than two because I was fiddling with how often I want her to say something instead of having to repeat a bunch of blanks down here. Um, I, if I increase this from zero to four, for instance, now there's um, a 40% chance she's not going to say anything. Uh, so she might say displaying map, galaxy map, one of the positive. Oh, and by the way, notice this is and wait until it completes. I do not want to do that. Even though she's executing the command first, I just don't care to have any possible lag of whatever. So just make sure you uncheck that box if you're including a command. You know, I'll have to go back and see if I did that exact same thing on power distribution here. Did I? Yeah, I did not uncheck that box. So I don't think it's that critical because I'm doing the command first and then she's just stating something. But if I want her to say a bunch of things in a row, for instance, then you're going to want to have that box checked. So if I want her to say yes, diverting power to shields, which might be kind of cool, I could move this to the beginning and execute that so she might have a chance of saying understood power to shields, uh, nothing, and then power to shields. So that's actually kind of a cool idea. I might actually do that, uh, but I would have to make sure I check that box. So are there any like gear up? So she says a whole lot of things when I put the gear up. And you should see it comes with so many of these different things. There's another one where I forgot though. Um, let's, let's do this. Uh, thing I was just talking about. Let's move it up here. So she's going to say, if she says anything, she's going to say that in here. And then if it's five, she's going to say nothing. So this is retract landing gear, gear up, that kind of thing. So let's try that. Retract landing gear. As you wish, Steve, stand by. Okay, well that was an uh, epic fail. So she did not wait. Um, so this obviously is doing something a little bit different and then just making a statement. It's expecting a macro to run and waiting for that macro to complete. Um, it doesn't know how long the wave is that she's saying. So, you know what, that was a good lesson. Let's just move that back to where it lives then. So 20% um, of the time she's going to say that. Understood. Retract landing gear. Affirmative. Stand by. Retract landing gear. Retracting the landing gear. Retract landing gear. Retracting the landing gear. Retract landing gear. Gear coming up. Okay. So, I hope that uh, makes sense. It's it's. I think a, a labor of love to get this thing the way that you want it. And you could obviously have a lot of fun with it. Like I was talking about uh, where I say crap or um, oops or whatever. So these are all the ones that I, I love this one. This one, this one is awesome. I've carried out an internal scan because for a moment it did sound like a crying infant was on the ship. So I thought that was pretty funny. So I'd include that somewhere. So ever saying clueless, attributable human error, are you feeling all right? Is if I'm saying crap, obviously something went wrong. Um, I could hear you fine if you weren't mumbling. So it's pretty awesome. So again, I set that up as a random to occur uh, you know, say one out of eight times. Um, so that's pretty sweet. But it's just whatever if I happen to swear uh, when I'm landing. I call this a swear, but um, <laughs> if I say something like that, then it's going to respond. So I can just add more of these in here. Um, as I'd like to. And then I just put them under a reactions category and I put an asterisk after it because to me it's done. Um, that one doesn't need any more love where some of these other ones like balanced engines or powered engines. I know there's a lot of other options available than just her saying power to engines. So when I'm bored, I will sit here and I will add those randoms and those other things to make it seem more interactive and less repetitive uh, than I think the standard profile creates. So if there are any questions, feel free to throw them down in the comments, and I'll do my best to, uh, to answer them for you. And uh, hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you out there.